here we go with the most important topics and one mark questions of all units of the subject matrices and calculus the first unit that is matrices and the questions are finding rank of a matrix by reducing it to the normal form they give you the matrix you have to find out its rank by changing into the normal form this is the most important where you can expect compulsory question on this topic and then we have gauss jordan method where you find the inverse of a matrix uh, this is also the important one and the next solving system of linear equations uh, here they give you the non homogeneous equations and they ask you to solve it and the question will be like check whether the given system of equations are consistent or not if they are consistent then solve them uh, the mostly they will give you the non homogeneous system of equations this is the most important question compulsory you will get on it and the next non homogeneous equation by gauss elimination method so gauss elimination method we use it for the non homogeneous system of equations and this is also the most important one and the next gauss seidel iteration method uh, and this is the most important the to most important topics like normal form and the solving system of linear equations and gauss seidel iteration method these three are the most important topics from the matrices uh, where the question will not be there with, uh, question paper will not be there without these questions and these are the most important and here we go with the one more questions of the matrices finding rank of a matrix by reducing it to echelon form and they give you the ma uh, matrix you have to find out its rank by reducing it to echelon form and then define the rank of a matrix and then define consistence of a matrix write the conditions for system of equations to be consistent write the conditions and the next uh, define travel solution travel solution nothing but unique solution or zero solution so write the definition of it and then write the conditions for a system of equations to be inconsistent because the condition like rank of a is not equals to rank of a by b for the non homogeneous system of equations so write those conditions and then then defi define elementary matrix and the next define normal form of a matrix and when does a non homogeneous system is said to be consistent so non homogeneous system of equations uh, they have the consistent and inconsistent so write the condition for the consistent one and the next define symmetric and square symmetric matrix give an example of it and the next define hermitian and square hermitian matrix and give an example show that every square matrix can be expressed as the sum of the symmetric and square symmetric matrices so if you know the symmetric matrix and square symmetric matrix then you can easily prove it and the next state the conditions when the system of non homogeneous equations ax is equals to b will have the unique solution infinite number of solution and no solution so write down the conditions here so for unique solution and infinite solution nothing but to be consistent the non homogeneous system of equations uh, rank of a should be equal to rank of a by b and then for non no solution rank of a should not be equal to rank of a by b then we say it is inconsistent and no solution and in unique solution we have r is equals to n condition and infinite number of solution r less than n conditions so write down all those conditions here and then here we go with the eigen values and eigen vectors you need to and the finding eigen values and eigen vectors of a given matrix so they give you the matrix they ask you to find out the eigen values whether it can be repeated values or rep non repeated eigen values and for those eigen values you have to find out the eigen vectors and the next diagonalization of a matrix where you will get the compulsory question on it which they will ask you for 5 marks diagonalization of a matrix and the next finding inverse and power of a matrix by kelly hamilton theorem so you have to verify the kelly hamilton theorem and then after you have to find out its inverse and the power of a matrix it means a for example the matrix is a they ask you to find out to uh, verify the kelly hamilton theorem and find a inverse or a power n or a power 2 they ask you like in such a way 
so this is the most important kelly hamilton theorem and then next reducing the quadratic form to canonical form or uh, in in place of canonical form they ask you also as a normal form or sum of squares it means all these three terms are mean the same and the process is also the same the by orthogonal transformation and find its rank index and signature and nature so they ask you in the way uh, it can be asked for the 10 marks or 5 marks if they ask you for the 5 marks they just ask you to convert the quadratic form to canonical form if it is for 10 marks they ask uh, they ask you to find out the rank index and signature and nature also so this is the most important compulsory you will get on it the most uh, important are con reducing quadratic form to canonical form kelly hamilton theorem and diagonal diagonalization of a matrix so the finding eigen values and eigen vectors it's a 50% chance is there of getting it and the next if you see the one more questions of this unit 2 we have state ke uh, kelly hamilton theorem and then write properties of eigen values just to find out write any two or three properties of the eigen values and the next show that the determinant of a square matrix is equal to the product of the eigen values for a 3 by 3 matrix and then here take an example of a matrix and uh, find out the eigen values and you have to prove that determinant of the square matrix is equals to the product of the eigen values and it's better to take a triangular matrix in triangular matrix uh, diagonal elements will be the eigen value so that you can easily find out it and the next you will get few questions related to the properties of eigen values and eigen vectors for example uh, the question is like they give you the matrix of a and you have to find uh, you have to find out its eigen values and indirectly they will ask you to find out the eigen values of a square a cube or a plus 3i it, they ask you in such a way so they, you will get a questions related to the properties of eigenvalues and eigenvectors and then next define orthogonal transformation so def, uh, write the definition of this orthogonal transformation it nothing but uh, uh, by converting that quadratic form to the canonical form and the next define characteristic vectors or eigenvectors and then define diagonal matrix and define positive and negative definite so you have positive definite and negative definite so what is mean by positive definite and what is mean by negative definite what conditions it has to be satisfied so write those conditions also and the next find eigenvalues of a matrix so they give you the matrix they ask you to find out its eigenvalues and then next approve that the eigenvalues of a square segment square Hermitian matrix are purely imaginary or zero and then define rank index and signature write the definition of the rank index and the signature so rank nothing but number of terms in the canonical form are, is called as the rank and the index nothing but number of positive terms in the canonical form and signature nothing but the difference of positive terms and the negative terms of the canonical form and the next transform quadratic form to symmetric matrix so they give you the quadratic form they ask you to transform it to the symmetric matrix or else they ask they give you the symmetric matrix and they ask you to convert into the quadratic form so these are the f uh, one mark questions for the unit 2 and the long answers if you see three topics are the important diagonalization and kelly hamilton theorem and the reducing the quadratic form to the canonical form and we go with the calculus chapter that is of uh, what topics we have as Rose theorem, Lagrange's mean value theorem, that is LMVT, and Cauchy's mean value theorem, CMVT, and beta and gamma functions. So, you have these three topics are the most important LMVT, CMVT, and the beta and gamma functions. You will get compulsory question on the beta and gamma function, and uh, either related to the beta or gamma function, and you can get the questions on the Lagrange's mean value theorem or the Cauchy's mean value theorem and very rarely we can expect on the Rolle's theorem I am from Taylor's also we cannot expect it more uh, because it, they'll ask you for the one mark questions and then one mark questions so if you see we have the state Rolle's theorem defend gamma function 
in this if you write the formula of the gamma function it's enough and then define beta function and state lmvt and state cmvt so in these three theorems you also write the conditions for that it means the function has to be continuous and the function has to be the differentiable and the formula so write them in these three theorems and then next find the value of gamma of minus 1 by 2 and then the next what is the relation between beta and gamma function the relation between these two functions state taylor's theorem so these are the important uh, one mark questions and the here important long answer questions the next we go with the multivariable calculus chapter partial differentiation and applications you need for and here problems related to euler's theorem is also most important uh, they gi they give you the they give you the differentiable part and then they ask you to prove it practically like x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou. Uh, we have the three theorems on the Euler's theorem. So here uh, the next Jacobian uh, they give you the functions u v w. They ask you to find out the dou of u comma v comma w by dou of x comma y comma z or any you can get any questions on the properties of jacobian also and the next it's the most important one and the next uh, fine functional dependence here also you can get the functional dependence it's the most important and the next finding maximum and minimum of functions of three variables using method of lagrange's multipliers so here also you can get the question from this so the finally if you see the topics uh, Lagrange's multi finding maximum and minimum, functional dependence and Jacobian. On these three topics compulsory you will get a question and this last one Lagrange's multiplier is a compulsory question and one question on Jacobian or functional dependence. From this both you can get any one question and uh, this maximum and minimum functions they will ask you for the 10 marks and the Jacobian and functional dependence or Jacobian or the Euler's theorem they commonly ask you for the 10 marks and then if you see the one mark questions of this unit 4 we have define multivariable function and then define continuity of a function state Euler's theorem define homogeneous function define partial differentiation define composite function define limit of a function and what are the Lagrange's conditions for maximum and minimum values of a function of two variables so for we we have three conditions to find out the maximum of minimum values of any function which are of two variables and state those conditions there. then state two properties of jacobian we have the two properties of the jacobian so write them here state jacobian you write the formula for that and the next state functional dependence and functional dependence when the function is said to be functional dependence and functional independence write the condition if jacobian is equals to zero then we say the functional is functional independence and if uh, uh, jacobian is not equals to zero then we say functional independence then next define stationary value and extreme value and you can get the few problems very simple problems on the jacobian or problems on Euler's theorem or problems related to this simple partial differentiation they give you the function x they ask you to differentiate it or find its first order differentiation or second order partial differentiation you so you will get a few problems on these three topics so these are the one mark questions for the multivariable calculus and then we go with the last chapter in five multivariable calculus of integration and finding area using double integrals uh, compulsory you will get a question on it and then change the order of integration the same and evaluation of double integrals uh, we can on, we cannot expect it more this double integrals and but uh, evaluation of triple integrals so compulsory you will see a question on the triple integrals in the long answer so this is also the most important so if you see the important uh, finding area using double integrals it means they give you the curves two curves and they find the area between them and change the order of the integra integration 
and evaluation of triple integrals so these three are the most important topics and if you see the one mark questions define triple integral and mention any three properties of double integral and evaluation of double and triple integrals so you have to mention any three properties of the double integral and the next uh, evaluation of double and triple integrals so you will get few problems on the double integrals and the triple integrals you have to evaluate them or find out the value of that integration so these are the most important one so go with this all these topics thoroughly and uh, and then i have explained all these topics in my videos check those videos and then thank you